Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from Witherfall, Curse of Autumn, out March 5th on Century Media. This album has 12 tracks, 61 minutes in length, and this is the band's third full-length studio album. They are an American melodic metal band. I feel like that label does them a disservice. Now, I understand from a marketing perspective you have to label them as something in order to reach the right target audience. But to look at these guys just as melodic metal is not enough. They go beyond that. Once you listen to their songs, you listen to their albums, you can see all the influences at play. You can hear classic heavy metal, you can hear power metal, you can hear thrash, you can hear prog, uh, you can hear old school elements, you can hear modern elements all mixed in together in order to create the sound that it is Witherfall. You can hear all the influences, but that's just it the influences because the sound itself that these guys have it's very unique to them it has their own DNA it has their own fingerprint now this record is no different and I felt that that fingerprint of Witherfall was not just present in the sound and we're gonna get into it it's also present in the structure that this album has this is a very dynamic record a record that has songs that offer different elements but at the same time have a lot of the same ones also permeating throughout the whole entire record. So there are things that breaks the tracks apart and then there are elements that brings the songs together. And to me the key factor for this album to work from a structural perspective was putting the right songs next to one another in order to bring together the things that they have in common the most and allow them to transition from one to the other without being uh, uh, broken apart, without creating extreme differences from one song to the next. The differences are there, but they almost feel like they're coming at you in a gradual process, not necessarily in an abrupt one. So this is an important thing because you have an album that from the first song to the last song, you're gonna experience different styles, different approaches, different soundscapes, if you will. So in order for this album to be fluid, to be dynamic, to still be somewhat cohesive and linear, you have to put together the best way possible in order for the listener to navigate through it, not feeling a complete break from one track to the next, but rather a smooth transition. This structure definitely offers that feeling of smooth transition, smooth growing process, a smooth learning process for the listener to get used to the differences while holding on to the similarities. Now, once you get into the soundscape, I love how this album was recorded. This is an album that has a lot of different elements coming at you from all different angles, from all different sources. In order for this record to work in its full essence, in order for you to get the full sound, the full experience that this album has to offer, you have to record it in a way that you can define all the different elements that make the overall sound but still be able to bring them together in a very cohesive, in a very coherent way in order for the sound to work as a whole and also work on the individual basis. They achieve that. When you listen to this record, you could hear all the different details. You can hear the acoustic guitars, you can hear the backing vocals, you can hear the keyboards, you can hear the bass, you can hear the drums, you can hear everything in its own lane, in its own path. But at the same time, once you're finishing processing all of these different elements and you bring them together, you start to process the bigger picture that the song has to offer. And that goes to show you the quality of the recording, the quality of the mixing, and obviously the quality of the artists themselves. They were able to create an album that has two different levels. The individual level, you can look at this almost as a team and you can look at the performance of each and every single player on that team. And then obviously, as you take a step back, you look at the overall performance of the record, of the sound, and then obviously you can look at it as the performance of the team itself. So this album kind of gives you that those two perspectives very well defined, very well put together in an easy way for you to digest both of them and incorporate them in what will feel like a very strong and robust sounding album. Having said that, there are a couple of elements on this record that outshine the others, perhaps because of the force they have, the power that they have, and it really feels like they are the driving forces behind this record. I wanna start off by, the, by talking about the drums. I don't feel like the drums are necessarily one of those elements. Uh, to me, the guitars and vocals are the driving forces behind this record. They take turns in which one is behind the wheel. But I, I really feel like I need to talk about the drums because I was really impressed with the overall drum sound on this album. Not just the sound, not just how it was recorded, but how the drums were used throughout the record bringing a lot of power, a lot of strength, a lot of heaviness at times, but also creating a little bit more of a backbone, a little bit more of a foundation, really showing a, a very diverse approach on all perspectives. As you navigate from the first song to the last song, one of the things that I think will stay with you is how diverse and well-balanced at the same time the drums are on this record. 
it really shows you the quality of the player itself. It's not easy to have this sort of diverse look in terms of how you want your drums to sound on an album to really match the diversity of the tracks themselves and at the same time stay very cohesive, stay very together in the quality that you have to offer across all 12 tracks. Now, the two motors, the two driving sources of this record, it's definitely the guitars and vocals. I love the guitar sound on this album. Very driven, chunky at times, powerful, melodic. You get the acoustic guitars, you get the electric guitars, you get the two sides, the two spectrums, bringing a classic flavor at times, very neoclassic flavor really in some of the songs and then pushing a little bit of the envelope, uh, merging the old school sounding heavy metal, uh, crunchy riffs, crunchy guitar sound with a more modern melodic stripped down, uh, almost very thin approach to how they come across on some of the tracks. So I really love what the guitars have to offer, very similar to the drums from that perspective in terms of being diverse and cohesive at the same time. But I felt the guitars were a little bit more on the forefront on almost every single track. So they really pick up your attention and they become the driving force, that motor that starts to push a lot of these songs in the right direction, at least pointing you or guiding you in that direction that they want you to go with each and every single song. Now, the other element is definitely the vocals. Joseph Michael is absolutely phenomenal vocalist. His range is at full display on this record. I also love some of the backing vocals that they did. Uh, I felt like it added a little bit of substance, it added a little bit of darkness. Most of the times it added atmosphere more than anything. I don't feel like it made the record heavier. It did give a little bit more volume, it creates layers, but in my opinion it was more about the atmosphere that it brought to the tracks and how it enhanced the lyrical content that was present on those songs where they went with that approach. But overall, his vocals are outstanding on this album. Definitely not a one-size-fits-all. It goes a little bit outside the box at times, perhaps tricking you into thinking that you know exactly what you're gonna get out of him on a specific track and then giving you something slightly different, changing the tone, changing the delivery, changing the range, going in a different direction, always keeping you on your toes, keeping you interested in what the track has to offer. And he has a wonderful ability to really bring the lyrics to life, perhaps more important than bringing the lyrics to life, is to bring the emotion that the lyrics carry within themselves to the forefront. You really feel captured by the lyrics, captured by his performance, and it's almost like you are the one that wrote it or they were wrote for you. Overall, this is a phenomenal record. I really couldn't find any weak spots on this album. From a sound perspective, you look at guitars, drums, I already mentioned all of those, vocals, the way this album is put together, the structure that it has, how fluid it is, how dynamic it is, how diverse it is. So many different things that this album has in store for the listener that is just gonna keep you coming back for more because it's one of those albums that you're gonna discover almost something new or something that you didn't really notice every time that you go through it. This is their best album to date. I thought this album was spot on from the beginning all the way to the end. I wouldn't have changed anything about it. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I wanna start off with Tempest. This is one of my favorite tracks outside of the singles. I love this song, very melodic opening. The acoustic guitar is just absolutely amazing the way it gets this song started, but then the track starts to gain power, starts to gain momentum, both musically and vocally, and it becomes a little bit heavier, it becomes a little bit bigger. It starts to feel very cinematic in its approach, not necessarily from the sound. I would almost expect the song to go in that direction from a musical perspective, but it didn't. It went there from a vocal perspective. This song feels like an opera, not because of the sound that it has. The sound that it has almost becomes uh, the atmosphere, the backdrop, the soundtrack to the lyrics, to the story that's being told. And the opera vibe really comes from how the vocals interpret those lyrics, how they come across, the emotion that they carry within them. This is truly a metal opera from the moment it starts to the moment it finishes. I love the classic elements that it has, both in the vocals and in the sound. They come together perfectly, very dynamic, very well-constructed track from beginning all the way to the end. Next, the un unyielding, uh, grip of each passing day. Now this track, I picked this track for two reasons. First of all, this is an instrumental track, really proggy instrumental track that I feel has great sound. It has incredible peaks, incredible valleys. It takes you in very different directions. It shows you a little bit of everything this album has to offer from a musical perspective. Everything that you heard up until this point and everything that you'll hear from this point beyond is really represented well in how this song is put together. The roller coaster ride, the, the ups and downs, the dynamic approaches, everything is here. That was definitely one of the reasons why this song uh, appealed to me. 
The other element of this song that really appealed to me is this song works as a bridge. It works as a bridge of what came before, the track that comes before, all the tracks that come before, the emotional roller coaster that you get before this song, and everything that comes after. This song connects the record. It connects the past with the future. It's the present. I love how this song feels. I love how it sounds, but I also love what it does to the album. It really connects the album well. It's 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 really the perfect bridge for this record. Like I said before when I was talking about the structure, when you have an album that is very dynamic, that has a diverse approach, that has songs that morph and grow and offer you different elements while keeping some of the same ones together, you need tracks that help the overall structure of the album, that help the fluidity of the record. This one is just that, a track that really merges the record, brings the album together, and helps the fluidity and the listening experience. Last but not least, The River, beautiful acoustic uh, track, at least as it starts. It doesn't stay acoustic all the way through. This would be the ballad on the record, at least uh, the more melodic, metal, classic heavy metal ballad style because it starts acoustic, it builds up, it builds up emotionally from a musical standpoint, but it also builds up emotionally from a vocal standpoint. It's a song that keeps growing as you progress through it. Eventually, the electric guitars come in, the track becomes a little bit heavier and closes it off on a stronger note. It has all of the DNA, it has all of the elements of a classic heavy metal ballad and how it's constructed and in how it's delivered. I love this song. This is it guys, Witherfall, Curse of Autumn, out March 5th on Century Media. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below, I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.